make no mistake the big battle of karnataka is the most consequential election that will be fought this year the bjp won big in gujarat won in the northeast now it's down to basavraj bomai the chief minister of karnataka to lead his party in the one state where the congress thinks it has a fighting chance but does it really what is the chief minister's strategy to lead his party to power to talk about this and more we're joined in bengaluru at the chief minister's residence by mr bomai himself thank you so much for your time sir at this moment with just weeks to go before the big polling day the entire country's attention is on karnataka as the man in the driver's seat what is your level of confidence will karnataka repeat its recent trend of sitting chief ministers losing or do you mr bomai think you can take the bjp to power see after the advent of narendra modi ji the whole trend about election performances is concerned has changed most of the polls were won on anti incumbency alia for the first time narendra modi has set a trend new trend where polls can be won with pro incumbency and i am in the second category i am quite confident that we will have a comfortable and more majority this time uh, with the blessings of people of karnataka and uh, will come back to power in thumping majority you didn't have a five year run you came in midway when mr yadurappa was changed and you were brought in as chief minister when you look back at this relatively short innings to what extent do you think chief minister that you've been able to stamp your authority yeah. leave behind some kind of what you think is the bomai vision for the state of karnataka right above us is your father's image you know former chief minister one of the legendary leaders of the state of karnataka you follow in his footsteps to what extent have you been able to leave your imprint on the politics and the development of karnataka for a leader to be successful he has to be on the ground he should know the facts i very well knew the day when uh, when i was sworn in as chief minister i am not the chief minister with a mandate but i am the chief minister to get a mandate so i started working for it and uh, we had challenges we had economic challenges we had social challenges we had a political challenges and each one i have met them very boldly squarely and i have overcome them for example um, economic challenge when i took over we were almost 5 to 6000 crores shortage in our revenue collections and i could talk to my people not only recover those 5000 crores as per our budget targets we overshot the budget targets by more than 13000 crores this year also we are overshooting the budget targets this means to say that economy was brought back very quickly on track and this this year we are able to produce a surplus budget the the financial pundits were saying that it will take minimum 6 to 7 years for a surplus budget but uh, we disproved them and we have been very successful on economic on social front i have been able to win the confidence of all levels of people more so the scst and obcs because of my programs and my decisions and uh, now the scsts have lot of confidence with increase in their reservations now all the already the jobs are there as per new reservation policies it's there to see and uh, we have taken very very uh, revolutionary uh, decisions as far as all these three categories are concerned a new hope a new ray of hope is there and uh, they had never seen this this type and this side of administration because congress had put them in a well and five once in five years they used to bring them up get a hot and put back in the well now they are open open to the sky for the first time and they see the change and feel the change and breathe the change